So the PlayStation State of Play has come and gone, and there's a lot of conversations happening over the entire showcase. And for me, the showcase was not good, okay? There was a lot of things that were just awful about the showcase. Tons of remasters and remakes. Everything that I basically said was going to happen, happened. And they tried to rely on uh, the Ghost of Tsushima 2 to essentially be, you know, the, the selling point of this entire showcase, right? They want to use it to try to sell consoles. They want to use it to try to sell the PS5 Pro accessories, all this stuff. That's just what happened. Well, Ghost of Tsushima 2 was revealed, and it actually is called Ghost of Yote, and it features a female protagonist. Now, that's not necessarily bad in and of itself, but a lot of people have a raised eyebrow because of who the actual actress is for this female protagonist, and it happens to be, you guessed it, another ideological psychopath. I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this person is called uh, Erika Ishii, okay? And this creature apparently has me blocked. Uh, again, never interacted with Erika Ishii in my entire freaking life. So it's very clear that she's an ideological psychopath to the point where she's involved in blockchains. But, you know, that's a whole another story. Uh, apparently, Ghost of Yote protagonist is voiced by radical activist Erika Ishii, who thinks that the police are white supremacists and supports transgender ideology. Now, again, a lot of people are saying... Well, what does that have to do with the game? Well, you guys have to realize a couple of things, okay? I'm not saying this game is woke because I didn't see I didn't see anything woke in the trailer. I'm telling you right now. I'm just being honest. I got to be real with you guys. Haven't seen anything woke in the trailer whatsoever. But you also can't ignore patterns. And I think that is a big deal that a lot of people are talking about or not talking about, I should say, is that patterns have showed us that at the very least, we should look at this game with a raised eyebrow because things might get just a little bit sus if we let our guard down. So let's get into this article, guys, from that part place. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. Now, for me, I was really excited about Ghost of Tsushima 2, okay? I thought we were going to get a continuation of Jin's story. That's what, that's what I thought, okay? Clearly, I was fucking wrong. And I think that's where a lot of disappointment comes from when it comes to this particular video game and what people are talking about when it comes to Ghost of... Uh, of Yote. People are upset that they didn't they didn't get a continuation of Jin's storyline. Now, this game apparently takes place 300 years ahead in the future. So they're doing this in order to completely remove themselves from Jin, uh, you know, 100%. They don't want they don't want to even have the idea of them being in the same world because I think that's going to piss off a lot of people. So they decided to separate it by 300 years because obviously he'll be dead of old age and he won't be around anymore and we'll have a brand new protagonist. Now, again, guys, I didn't see anything woke in this trailer whatsoever. I'm just being real with you. However, I cannot also be blind to the past. I can't be blind to previous decisions made by Sony and PlayStation. I cannot be blind to the fact that there is a hardcore activist. We're not even talking a light activist. We're talking hardcore activist that is the voice actress and, and actress for, in general for this uh, main character. You can't help but uh, you know feel that there might be a little bit of uh, uh, bleeding through, so to speak, when it comes to this game. Now, in terms of Sucker Punch, and I'm just getting all this out before I get into the article. In terms of Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch has absolutely earned the benefit of the doubt considering how good Ghost of Tsushima was and how respectful Ghost of Tsushima was to the point where they got they actually got honored by the island for the game being so respectful. However, Sony and PlayStation have not earned the benefit of the doubt, right? PlayStation Studios likes to pull lots of fuckery. So right now for me, I am slightly below the fence, right? Where I'm not on the fence about it, but I'm like, I'm I'm one foot off. And the reason why I'm one foot off is specifically because of this activist and how apparently she's on a massive blockchain, even though she's never talked to any of us. It's just, anyway, it's, it's a little weird. So I'm one foot off the fence, but I'm going to tell you exactly like I said on Hypnocast. I need to see gameplay. I need to see gameplay before I will decide anything with this kind of a game. I do. Because if you can sell me a story and make it believable, then I can be in on this, right? Just because of the female protagonist, I don't give a fuck about that. I do think that it's a little bit odd that you're going to have to try to convince me that this 100-pound woman is supposed to be able to fight people like Khan, for example. You know, like a man of his size. How is she supposed... You know, I, I just... Anyway, I barely believed Jin when he fought Khan. But again, 
this is where we're at. Let's just get into the article, man. Sucker Punch, a subsidiary of PlayStation Studios, announced that their next title, Ghost of Yote, a sequel to Ghost of Tsushima, and revealed that the game's main character, Atsu, will be voiced by radical activist Erika Ishii. Uh, Sucker Punch shared on X, we are thrilled that Atsu is played by the amazing, and, and amazing is a very interesting word, Erika Ishii. Now, some people are saying that Sucker Punch was forced into this. Listen, at the end of the day, man, nobody's forced into shit, all right? They're they're deciding this decision on their own, and even though they might be influenced by PlayStation Studios, at the end of the day, they have they have a means to say, I don't think this is going to be good for the game, and it's just, it, they could have a back and forth. If you're going to choose the path of least resistance, then you deserve everything that comes to you. Ishii is a radical activist who claims in her ex-bio that she uses all pronouns because, you know, she's an all-encompassing god. Furthermore, Ishii is an activist that supports body mutilation. In June, she encouraged her followers on X to support For the Girls that targets black individuals to encourage them to butcher themselves. She wrote on X, non-black folks looking to observe Juneteenth, black nonprofits often receive aid in boom or bus cycles. This year, consider making a monthly pledge. Whether you donate, volunteer, or commit to learning, please join me in my quest to be intentional and sustainable. I'm supporting For the Girls, a black trans collective that helps pay for rent and gender affirming surgery in the black LGBT community. Jesus Christ, man. These people really, 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 really want to keep black people oppressed, man. They they want to keep them down on their knees, man. You you will not. It's the prime example of giving someone a fish or teaching them how to fish, right? It's it's the same exact thing. So you want to pay for their rent. You want to pay for their gender affirming surgery. You want to make life as easy as possible for them because to them, to you, you view them as little pets. You view them as people that are just incapable in every sort of way that they can't support themselves. They can't do what they want. They can't achieve goals without some sort of help. It's fucking insane, bro. I will never be in that mindset. And if you want me to be in that mindset, I'm sorry. I just will never be that. But uh, in terms of the this person, what I will say is that games like Ghost of Tsushima, I never, I, I don't know about you guys, I almost never use the English voice actor, right? Very rarely I will do that. If there's a Japanese option in a Japanese game, I will very rarely use the English voice actor. Uh, I will always use the Japanese voice actor. And then when you think about it too, at this point, this should not be too shocking information because almost every single uh, Western voice actor is a fucking psycho. Almost every single one of them. We can't pretend as if there's anything new because Erika Ishii is just a dime a dozen. As much as they want to pretend to be so different and diverse, they're all the same. Every single one of them are, are the same. They think the same. They act the same. They talk the same. They look the same. Right? They, they all have the shaved side head and everything. They all look the exact same. So there's nothing diverse about them and there's nothing interesting about them. And I would never use their, their, their voiceover. I just never would. It would probably make things a lot worse. I mean, look at this shit. It's so dumb. So dumb. Uh, Ishii previously promoted the organization in 2020 as well. Today, please consider supporting the Four of the Girls, a black trans-led nonprofit. I guess they must have some time to this company. Uh, it also seems like this uh, this creature decided to hate on Hogwarts Legacy because that clearly worked, right? Yeah, right, Erica? That clearly worked. She uh, he, she said, I used to love Harry Potter, went to every midnight release, cosplayed, was even in Harry Potter-themed improv group. Now I'm happy to instead support and be part of a fantasy narrative where all are welcome. Now, keep in mind, this is someone who clearly didn't play the game or someone who doesn't really understand Harry Potter because it was a fucking trans character in Hogwarts Legacy. And not only that, you can make a trans character in the character creator. So, like, what are we talking about? You you want to say it's about turfs and everything like you're retarded you can literally do everything you fantasize about in hogwarts legacy all you psychos could have made all the trans characters you wanted but instead you just wanted to sit there and be angry over a more successful white woman that's really what it was in a subsequent post Ishii added muting but wanted to reiterate trans rights or human rights oh okay that's thanks for the shocking information i asked that instead of replying to negative comments to turn that effort towards positive action a donation sharing and supporting trans creators and trans joy or checking in with your trans friends and their happiness no barely anybody has trans friends like you guys are saying you guys are speaking as if like everybody has at least one trans person in their life statistically speaking 99 percent of people don't have trans people in their life so you're acting as if this is the problem with being in an echo chamber especially being in like a california style echo chamber where you see 20 20 trans people on one block in San Francisco and you think the entire world is like that and it's not. So at the end of the day, man, like I said, guys, I am on the fence when it comes to Ghost of Yote. 
I don't know uh, where I'm going to be. Ultimately, I have to see gameplay in order to decide. Sucker Punch is a studio that has earned my respect from their first game, and I will at least look at it. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be looking at it with a raised eyebrow, uh, being very cautious. And I don't think that's bad. I don't think that I don't think it's a bad thing to notice patterns, right? Patterns is what keeps people alive a lot of the time. And if you want to purposely ignore patterns because you don't want to be seen like a rage baiter, angry, you know, anti woke, whatever then you're just falling into the trap, right? You're falling into the trap because let's be real. What are the chances that they wanted to go with a female protagonist genuinely? Probably very low these days. That's just the truth. That's that's what patterns have showed us. So you cannot ignore patterns, but I will say there was nothing woke in the trailer. It did look good in terms of graphically speaking. Now we're at the point where it's put up or shut up. Show me gameplay or I'm probably going to be out. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.